There are numerous reasons why cracking can occur on bridge decks. Engineers must look at numerous factors in the design process to prevent and repair this type of damage. The bridge design standards involving how the concrete panels and steel girders are configured play an important role in preventing cracking damage in what's called the negative moment regions of the bridge. A negative moment region is the area of the deck just above the interior supports of both continuous concrete and steel girder bridges. During a recently completed implementation project conducted at the University of Texas Center for Transportation Research, researchers worked with TxDOT to develop and test a new design methodology. It's designed to help the engineer achieve the right steel content for preventing deck cracking, while also meeting the design requirements for these types of bridges. And so we did the research to help us identify exactly how much reinforcement we needed in this area to help control the cracking and improve the durability of our concrete decks. They implemented the knowledge they gained by changing the reinforcement over the vents in the slab on a project in Austin and then monitored it afterwards and did some live load testing by driving dump trucks across the bridge. We worked with the engineer of record to actually vary the design of the deck steel and uh, essentially we had four different regions that we actually were able to to vary on that project. So we were able to get data from that that specifically showed uh, the actual performance in a concrete bridge but uh, what we were missing on that was the behavior of what would happen in a steel bridge. So we had a, a bridge out in Bastrop, and again, working with the project monitoring committee, we varied the, the reinforcing steel in that deck to, again, give us very novel data on the behavior of the deck cracking uh, as a function of that amount of steel. Our design methodology that was developed by uh, uh, George G., who was the PhD student on this project, um, really allows an engineer to get in and really uh, customize their design to achieve whatever the serviceability requirements that they're they're actually wanting to get. Now that we have this information, we're going to update our bridge design manual and our details to Im fully implement it. So on future projects, we're getting the right amount of reinforcement in these negative moment regions. For more information and to find the publications for this project, please visit the TxDOT Research Library at the link shown below.